Okay, today I'm going to be seeing what happens if I magnify the world's brightest flashlight with a giant magnifying lens. So first I'll be attempting to magnify it with just a normal magnifying glass. And then I'll be trying it with my giant solar scorcher. And then after that I'll see what happens if I just put something black right in front of it and see if I can cook anything. So in my last video I showed the brightest flashlight versus black 2.0, which is the blackest black available on the market. And in the comments section there was an overwhelming amount of requests that I should magnify my brightest flashlight. And so today I wanted to take that suggestion and show you what happens when you try to magnify a flashlight. So in attempting this, you'll see some really cool things that happen with optics in this video. So this flashlight can get up to 32,000 lumens. So that means that this tiny area here, when it's on full blast at 32,000 lumens, is brighter than three square feet of sunlight on the Earth. So our goal with a magnifying glass is to try to capture all of this light that's coming off here and get it to focus into one tiny point here. So that's what we're going to try to do here with the flashlight, is to take as much area of the light as possible and concentrate it into as small a point as possible. But let's see if that really is possible. I just said possible a lot. Okay, so first we'll be trying it with a regular magnifying glass. Okay, so let's turn on our 32,000 lumens. Three, two, one. Ooh, that's bright. Okay, and let's try to concentrate it. Hmm. So it's warm on my hand, but not hot. So you'll notice that this is as small of a dot as I can get. As I go further away, it gets bigger. And as I go closer to the flashlight, it gets bigger. So right here is the smallest point. And it's too bright to see right now, but let me decrease the strength of the flashlight and you'll see a pattern here. So right at its focal point here, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight LED lights. And if you don't recognize that pattern, it looks very similar to the flashlight pattern. In fact, it is the flashlight pattern. So the fact that you can project the image of the flashlight on a wall means that you can project any image on a wall using just a magnifying glass. So for example, if I have a bright light on myself and take this into a dark room in front of me, here's what it looks like. So now if I just put a bright light on me and make myself the light, then I can project my own image on the wall. Hey guys, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, that's bright. But notice one thing, the image is flipped 180 degrees. So going through the lens flips the image. So that's the same thing that happens on your eye. Actually, the image going into your eye is an upside down image, but your brain makes it look right side up. Okay, so what went wrong here? Why wasn't the magnifying glass able to create this tiny little beam of concentrated light and burn through my hand? So I mentioned that this is a 32,000 lumen flashlight. But all of those 32,000 lumens are coming out of the tip of the flashlight here. And the further away I get from the flashlight, the more that light is spread out and diffused. And so by the time it gets to here, this same area of the flashlight diameter is not 32,000 lumens anymore because it's been spread out across this whole wall here. So here's our first problem. To get to the focal point to make the light smaller, you have to be stepped further back from the flashlight. And if you're stepped further back from the flashlight, you have less light to concentrate in this small area of the magnifying glass. So just by stepping back to get to the focal point of the lens, I've already lost all of the light across the entire wall except for this tiny little area here. And so even though I am concentrating this area of light into a smaller area here, this light is already pretty diffuse and so it's not gonna warm up my hand any considerable amount. So you say, why don't I just move closer to the light? Well, let's see what happens when I do that. So back here, here's my most concentrated I can get. And as I move closer, the next point I get to is not a smaller light, but I actually magnify the light. So if I move the magnifying glass closer to the flashlight than its focal length, then I actually get a magnified light, not a tinier light. And that doesn't help me either because I just spread out the light even more than the initial head of the flashlight. So now let's see if we get any different results with the Fresnel lens here. So I'll start by putting the flashlight close and we see that this doesn't help us because I just get a magnified version of the flashlight. So I just spread the light out more. 
And as I back up, it gets smaller and smaller until I get a dot there. And that dot was no smaller than the initial size of the flashlight head here. So again, this dot is not hotter than just holding my hand in front of the flashlight. In fact, it's weaker because we lost all of this light up here. So that means I can't magnify the world's brightest flashlight to be even brighter by using a lens at all. But the good news is that it's really bright at the head of the flashlight already. So let's see if we can cook or burn some stuff just by holding it close to the flashlight. Okay, so in the previous video I used this black 2.0. So let's see what happens if I put the black 2.0 right in front of the flashlight. Let's see if it absorbs enough of the visible light to heat it up enough to start it on fire. In three, two, one. Put it right in front of it. Well, it's already smoking. <laughs> it's definitely burning. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. So it didn't start on fire. Ow. <laughs> Back of it is hot. But it just turned this into ash. I wonder if it's because the black 2.0 doesn't burn very well. Let's see what happens if we just put it on normal black construction paper. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa. It scorched right through the paper. <laughs> Just turned it into ash. So there you go. Basically, if you want to burn something with a flashlight, you just put it as close to the source as possible. And these are LED lights. So this isn't like holding it next to a really bright incandescent light that is giving off a lot of heat because the heat from that is just that, it's heat. That's what's burning it when you hold it close. But with this, the heat is coming from the visible light being converted into infrared heat when it hits the object. I have one question for you. Let's see if you can get it right. So here I have my lens closer to the flashlight than its focal point. So it's making a larger projection of the LED lights on the wall here. But my question is this, if I cover half of this lens, what will happen to that image? Do you think it will cover half of that image? So let's cover half of the lens and see what happens. So the full image is still there, only it got dimmer. I can even cover almost all of the lens and the image is still there, the full image. So by blocking the lens, you don't block the image, but you just make it darker or lighter. And the reason is because you have to realize that the light rays are coming from every part of the flashlight and they're passing through every part of the lens. And so every piece of the lens can be used to form this final image here. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed yet, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video is out. And if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, let me know in the comments section and I'll try to get to them. And I'll see you next time.